Very good morning to you. Welcome to the A's Exit Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. The Australian share market is expected to open higher today. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1% rise. On Friday, the share market closed 0.20% lower at 7,157. In business news from this morning now, Tabcorp Holdings has resolved a dispute with the Australian Taxation Office. That was in relation to the income tax treatment of payments for various licenses and authorities. Tabcorp had paid to the Commissioner in full the disputed amount of tax liabilities and interest. As part of the settlement, the ATO will refund Tabcorp around $83 million, which represents 20% of the disputed tax liabilities and interest. Each proceeding brought by the taxpayers will be dismissed. Tabcorp in turn is required to pay around $37 million to the Lottery Corporation under the terms of the separation deed dated 25th of March 2022 between Tabcorp and TLC. As a result, Tabcorp will recognize a benefit of around $45 million after tax in its financial statements for the year ending 30th of June 2024. This benefit will be treated as a significant item. Sims reports that steel demand remains subdued and the scrap price did not appear to be sufficient to stimulate robust scrap supply. The company further noted that competition for scrap remained strong, but inflow was subdued and this was squeezing margins. The statement was based on the fourth quarter of financial year 2022 trends, July management accounts and early understanding of August trends. It is clear that weak market conditions have not abated and the previously resilient U.S. domestic market is showing signs of weakening. As a result of these market conditions, the company anticipates the first quarter of financial year 2024 EBIT to be approximately breaking even. Westar Resources has appointed Jason Boladeras as the company's new exploration manager. He brings with him a wealth of experience in exploration management, having worked extensively throughout Australia and overseas, spanning across a range of commodities. Most notably, he served as exploration manager for Northern Star Resources from 2008 to 2013. That's where he led the exploration team from a modest group of six in the Kimberley to a robust team of over 30 spread across four key project areas in the Pilbara, Merkiston regions of WA. Let's take a break here. I'll be back with more news set to affect your trading day. Build better relationships, get connected, heard and noticed. We always believe in getting you the best. Calkine Media's growing platform, Calkine TV, helps you connect to an inquisitive audience from across the globe. Interact in a trusted environment. Showcase your brand on Calkine TV in a seamless and effective manner. We connect and curate content as per your business needs. So why wait? Write to us at guestteam at calkine.com.au. Welcome back to the AS Exit Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones. Now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 0.22%. The S&P 500 edged up 0.14%. While the Nasdaq Composite just managed to fall into positive territory, rising 0.09%. European markets closed higher. London's FTSE gained 0.49%. Frankfurt added 0.14% and Paris closed 0.62% higher. Turning to Asian markets now, Tokyo's Nikkei fell 1.16%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng was closed on Friday, while China's Shanghai Composite closed 1.18% lower. And that's the latest from the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.